Tony Bacigalupo here, and if you are a nerd for Zoom like I am, then today's a big day for you. Zoom released some new features, and I'm a big fan of them. I just want to show you a little bit about what it looks like. First off is under advanced features in screen sharing, there is now an option for slides as virtual background. This makes things so much easier when you're trying to present something. Um, when you're normally presenting slides, you either have to sacrifice um, the ability to see what's going on because you're going to go into presentation mode and it takes over the full screen, um, or you're going to create a, a problem where you're going to only share a portion of your screen and you're going to lose the ability to step through the individual steps of the slides and it looks a little weird, um, which you still don't have in this feature. But just to show you what it looks like, I just pulled it up, uh, pulled up a file on my computer, either a PowerPoint file or a Keynote file, and then it automatically loaded it in so that I can now present from inside of Zoom. You can see that now my video is in the corner and actually I can move me around and I can resize me as well, which is pretty cool. So, um, and it looks like I can't move me kind of off of the screen. So if I wanna like orient myself, I have to kind of keep that in mind. But, ooh, actually here, I'll just move my computer. All right, very good. And I can step through my slides, same as I normally would. This is just a presentation I pulled off my computer that I happen to have laying around. Um, but what I'm noticing is that it does not do the um, individual steps for uh, if you've got um, if you've got transitions between the slides. Like normally, each of these bullet points shows up individually. So the fact that those don't show up, kind of a bummer. But hugely, hugely valuable feature. There's a lot of fun you can have with this. And I imagine if you design slides to be kind of in the corner, I would maybe even start designing slides in Zoom uh, with the idea in mind that, uh, well, designing slides for Zoom, with the idea in mind that, um, that I could frame it more like a newscast, uh, which I think would be really, really neat. So I'm noticing some weird issues with resizing the video now interesting so just be aware if you're messing with the video it gets a little weird to handle anyway I'm just floating around here I will stop the screen share and I will show you some of the other cool features that we've got here so um, one of the other things is filters so if you go into preferences you can go to uh, or background and filters and you can see that this normal virtual backgrounds has now been augmented by video filters. And you can see that there's some, some features that just kind of change your image a little bit. So if you wanna give yourself a little bit of an Instagram vibe, there's also kind of like these kitschy presentation-y kind of things. Um, I kind of like this one. This one's kind of fun for, I don't know what, but just to stylize things, make it look, look a little more faux professional. Um, could be like a, a talk show guest. It'd be really cool if you could put another person in the chair, you know. Um, and then you got your usual kind of silly Snapchat-y kind of filter things. Of course, you got your N95 mask and your um, surgical mask, and it seems to move with my mouth a little bit, which is kind of cool. Um, so just kind of fun, goofy little stuff, which, you know, can't hurt. We need ways to relax and have fun these days. And I wanted to also highlight that the ability to touch up your appearance, it used to just be a checkbox, but now it's a slider. And so you can see that my skin gets a little bit kind of blurrier or it gets sharper depending on how much you touch it up. And then this adjust for low light, which is super handy. Um, this is a new feature. So if you turn that on and if you switch it to manual, you can actually manually adjust brightness of your camera image. So uh, this is awesome. I think I'm just going to leave adjust for low light on auto right now. Super handy. There are a bunch more features around how they handle chat. There are some security upgrades. There's a whole bunch of other handy features. So um, check out the notes uh, in Zoom's uh, updates here and uh, you can get into all of the specifics of it. But just wanted to share all of that with you. Hope you found that useful. Happy Zooming. I think we got some fun new stuff to play with coming up.